So in this difficult lesson from uh, the prophet Zechariah, we have uh, God's condemnation through the prophet of those who were supposed to be shepherds of his people and have uh, abdicated their task. They were supposed to, you have uh, basically what the prophet Zechariah does is he, he is a prophetic sign act where um, the Lord tells him, it's kind of like with the prophet Ezekiel and the prophet Hosea, who, you know, the Lord tells the prophet Hosea to go and marry um, a prostitute in the temple of Baal and uh, make her, uh, her his wife as a, as a symbol of God's reclaiming um, Israel from idolatry. And so the prophet uh, Zechariah is instructed to uh, basically go and, and basically become a shepherd of a flock that is destined and basically has been designated as a flock that's going to go to the temple to be slaughtered and uh, to basically going up into Jerusalem. And to and, 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 he, and so Zechariah has these two staffs that he has as he literally kind of becomes a shepherd. And uh, he's got three shepherds that are working for him, and, and he uh, has a prophetic sign act. He dismisses those shepherds because they are faithless. He hires faithless, you know, kind of, uh, you know, let's just say underperforming shepherds, uh, faithless shepherds, and then he fires them as a sign act. And then he walk, and then he has two staffs, one called favor and one called unity. And in a sense, that that is supposed to be the vocation of those who have leadership of God's people, that they're supposed to be a source of favor or blessing and a source of unity that keeps the flock together and protects them from predators and protects them from prey. And in the background are all the biblical, the Old Testament and allusions to the good shepherd and to um, you know Psalm 23 and the prophet Ezekiel. And so then he walks the flock up to Jerusalem for it to be slaughtered. And then says to the, the the sheep shears the slaughters basically pay me whatever you you think you know the the flock is worth they pay him this she 30 shekels of silver and then he throws those into the temple and uh, which is something repeated by Judas in the passion has a way of God um, through Judas using Judas as an instrument to be to indicate that Jesus is the Passover lamb, that Jesus has been, um, has been surrendered to those who slaughter the sheep instead of caring for, the, for God's people. And so that they will, and then we have a passion prediction in, in today's gospel, that instead of caring for the sheep, they will slaughter um, the Passover lamb, Jesus, the son of God, and who is also the true shepherd of the sheep, so uh, we've got a whole, we've got a lot of dense symbolism going on here. But ultimately, the takeaway is that, um, that God's design for human authority is one in which leaders are called to be a source of favor or blessing for the people. They're supposed to, people are supposed to be better off because of their leadership and that they're called to be a source of unity, that they hold people together, that they hold the flock together, that they are a source of, um, of shared um, identity, shared community, and that that's one of the, the, the best gifts that God gives to his people. And so that that's the true model of leadership. And that when leaders fail to do that, God has a way of replacing them, that God is not invested in keeping a dynasty of shepherds, He's not invested in necessarily in keeping a dynasty, an institutional dynasty um, of denominations. God is interested in protecting and raising up his sheep. Right? He's interested in blessing the sheep. That's his only interest. So ever he's, however that can happen, God's going to do that. And ultimately, the, uh, the gospel uh, revelation of this is that Jesus comes to be the true shepherd the one who sells himself instead of selling the flock in order to save the flock, in order to save God's people, to save humanity. And that um, through Jesus, we receive God's, because of Jesus's obedience, Jesus's faithfulness, we receive God's favor. We receive his blessing. We receive his life given to us in Jesus. And we receive a unity, as Jesus said, be one as the Father and I are one. We receive a new identity and a new community in Jesus that transcends 
all the ways in which human beings are divided from each other and all the ways in which we uh, all the ways in which we prey upon each other we're called to be delivered from those things in Jesus as we trust in him to be our shepherd so uh, the prophet Zechariah pointing to the king of kings the lord of lords and the good shepherd Amen. A reading from the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord my God, be a shepherd of of the flock doomed to slaughter. Those who buy them kill them and go unpunished. And those who sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I have become rich. And their own shepherds have no pity on them, for I will no longer have pity on the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord. I will cause them, every one, to fall each into the hand of a neighbor, and each into the hand of the king, and they shall devastate the earth, and I will deliver no one from their hand. So, on behalf of the sheep merchants, I became the shepherd of the flock doomed to slaughter. I took two staffs, one I named Favor, the other I named Unity, and I tended the sheep. In one month I disposed of the three shepherds, for I had become impatient with them, and they also detested me. So I said, I will not be your shepherd. What is to die, let it die. What is to be destroyed, let it be destroyed. And let those that are left devour the flesh of one another. I took my staff favor and broke it, annulling the covenant that I had made with all the peoples. So it was annulled on that day, and the sheep merchants who were watching me knew that it was the word of the Lord. I then said to them, If it seems right to you, give me my wages, but if not, keep them. So they weighed out as my wages thirty shekels of silver. Then the Lord said to me, Throw it into the treasury, this lordly price at which I was valued by them. So I took the thirty shekels of silver and threw them into the treasury in the house of the Lord. Then I broke my second staff, Unity, annulling the family ties between Judah and Israel. Then the Lord said to me, take once more the implements of a worthless shepherd. For I am now raising up in the land a shepherd who does not care for the perishing or seek the wandering or heal the maimed or nourish the healthy, but devours the flesh of the fat ones, tearing off even their hoofs. O my worthless shepherd who deserts the flock, may the sword strike his arm and his right eye. Let his arm be completely withered his right eye utterly blinded. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.